alchemy, also known as potion making, also known as potion crafting, also known as brewing, also known as annoying shit taking up space in my inventory. What a disaster! And so obviously I'm not a fan, nor have I ever been a fan, but the other day I was playing Skyrim and I looked up at the alchemy skill tree and thought, what kind of sick fuck actually puts points into this? I've always found it to be boring or tedious, but I wanted to see what other people thought. I set up a few polls and seeing how this is my first time providing my own data, I should mention I'm not a professional, these polls and charts most likely have tons of logical and ethical errors and will not fly by any level of professional data collection. I'm hardly even adult, let alone an analytical genius, and no one should ever take me seriously ever. Okay, with that out of the way, let's look at what I found out. I took two polls, one of which I'll pretty much just be ignoring completely because I asked the RPG board, which in hindsight I should have obviously seen coming that they would be biased towards enjoying it. So my second sample was Scrap.tf, a place I frequent often and since they're generally just a group of gamers, I like to think that this sample was less biased. Plus it also got like way more actual votes so you know there's that. So the one with the least votes here is being frustrated with alchemy, and that totally makes sense because usually even if you don't enjoy alchemy, having it adding depth to whatever game you're playing isn't really a bad thing. But at the same time, if you're a casual gamer who wants to get potions but doesn't feel like looking up tons of guides, I can totally see how testing ingredients for in extreme cases hours to get some dumb potion of cock sucking or something stupid like that can be very very frustrating. The other three are a lot more even than I thought. Lots of people just kinda try not to fuck with alchemy at all, or at least usually because they're not familiar with the world's ingredients, and either don't care for the potions themselves or just don't care to put in the effort to learn it all, with maybe the occasional of super common potions like health of mana and whatever. And uh, yeah, this is what I thought would be most popular because like this guy said, being invested enough in a game to find the 999 different herbs you need to be efficient at alchemy is uh, well, uncommon to say the least. But it turns out more people actually enjoy alchemy than I thought, like way more. I honestly thought that most people just wouldn't fuck with potions at all, but it turns out it's almost the complete opposite, which is super cool because it means that the extra layer of depth that these devs are putting into their games aren't going unnoticed. I do really hope that the people meant they actually like alchemy and not just the presence of alchemy in their game, otherwise this whole poll is null. So uh, these polls got me to thinking, if it's true that potion making and herb gathering is fun, and I've tried it, it can be fun, why do I usually just not bother? So at this point I was really invested in this stupid game mechanic that I decided I would make a video about it. By this point, this whole venture was fueled by gamer curiosity, but now it was in way too deep. This was after I started my alchemy-only run in Skyrim, by the way. Anyway, I thought for a while about why I don't typically care about alchemy, and I've come up with a few reasons. The first reason is a pretty obvious critique with alchemy and games in general, and we're all probably thinking it, so I'm just gonna say it. Consistency. 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 Alchemy's made up. Potions don't exist in the real world. Well, unless you count the witch Dr. Ryan over there with its vials of a... Uh questionable substances. So that means every game has different ingredients. Often completely contradictory ones too, it's unbelievably inconsistent and as someone who doesn't limit themselves to any one game, taking the annoying amount of time to search up how all the 469 herbs combine with each other to make different shit, and then having to fight knowledge from other games to learn this new one just isn't worth it for me. Another thing that has to do with consistency is a lack of clarity as to how these potions are crafted in the first place. Some games like Skyrim try and solve this with a taste test ability, and you know, this was a great attempt. I intentionally tried not looking up guides when I tried testing an alchemy run and it worked okay, but that's an exception, usually I'm forced to look up guides, which when you think about it kinda sucks. Uh, anyway, the second reason alchemy in games is a bother is clutter. It's cluttering my fucking inventory. This leads me to often deleting ingredients, and because I don't like to memorize the recipes for potions, I often find myself on expeditions to find one ingredient for some super niche thing I'm up to. What's this? You didn't know you needed the butt plug plant for a fucking burger eating potion? So you deleted your stack of 64 half an hour ago? Tough shit. This can all be fixed if I care to do my homework on the games I play, but that's the whole point. This whole video is basically me saying I want devs to make half their potions easy for filthy casuals like me, then another half more complicated for the diehards of their stupid game. So, uh, lots of people mention Noida, and by lots I only mean like a few people, but whatever. I remembered Noida as that game with the spider legs. 
and how it used potion alchemy way back but I had no idea of its extent. So many potions can be made, but what's so much better is that the ingredients are the potions themselves, it's like mixing color. This is genius because the resulting potion makes intuitive sense when you're making it. And it removes the grinding for a fucking troll's penis juice aspect of alchemy in most games. Genshin also probably has some neat alchemy stuff. I, I don't know, it's an anime game. I'm sorry, I'm not doing my fucking research on it. Go do your own research. Skyrim! Yes, baby. Ooh, yes, ooh, baby. Ooh, oh, ooh. yeah. Like I said earlier, you can try ingredients to test their effects and build your own little catalog of sorts with the ingredients. Skyrim was able to make trial and error fun. What? Experimentation is rewarded with neat potions, unlike other alchemy systems where the only reward you get is wasting your fucking time over looking up a guide. The ingredients also don't clutter my inventory because they're all based on weight, not slots. Which is a way better way of using inventory in general. Like, why does this map take up the same amount of space as 64 fucking blocks of pure solid diamond? What? Back to Skyrim. Skyrim's alchemy tree lets you upgrade how potent your potions are. This is something I wish I knew about before going on this little alchemy venture because it gives some real incentive to make your own potions. I'll still admit that grinding for the items is boring, but that's just kind of something I've accepted at this point with most alchemy systems, so uh, whatever. Uh, well actually I do have another problem. I know, I just, I just never shut up. I don't like consumables and RPGs in general. I could be fighting the final fucking boss of the game, but I'm so frugal with my potions I'll save them. I keep being told it's overpowered by these RPG gamers, but to me it just makes me feel pathetic, having to rely on potions. I don't know, I just want to feel like a badass without a potion of Jesus that only lasts for 4 minutes and then I'm a cockroach. From a developer perspective, consumables are great since they are a great way of making the entire game feel more dynamic. It's great for the player of your game to carry abilities that, would they all be on your player constantly, would make the game more flat and less fun. So why am I like this? It's come to the point where I find a rare potion and instead of thinking, oh wow, this is cool, I think, the oh, fuck, this is gonna take up space in my inventory forever because I'm so bad at analyzing optimal moments for consumption, I'll just never use it in fear of wasting it. And that's stupid. I always feel weaker when I use a potion. I lost an ability I won't get back and I can never tell if it was a requirement for me to use that potion or if I just wasted it. That feeling is the main reason I don't care about potions, and the ironic thing is that this could mostly be fixed if I just learned alchemy since then I would have an abundance of potions. And I don't, because I don't like consumables, because I don't know how the alchemy of any specific game I'm playing works. It's just complete checkmate where I either miss out on an interesting depth of most RPG games, or I spend the best years of my life studying fictional ingredients for all the games I play. In my mind, alchemy is the last thing a player masters in a game, and since it's usually overpowered, that kind of makes sense. And if you think of it that way, maybe it's a good thing that every game is inconsistent with one another on what ingredients there are and what they do. Every game is unique and special, and you know what? Fucking clutter my inventory!